going on guys and we are back here with another video and this one guy from my comments has been asking me how I make my thumbnails and how I make that glow effect around it. First of all you have to download GIMP. If you do not know how to download it it's pretty simple. It will be in the link description and if that doesn't help um, be kind of dumb. I'll be showing you how to put text, cutting things out and putting them on with like out of background and the glowing effect with some white around it. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. This is pretty much me showing you how I make this thumbnail. It's like, what? Mind blowing. So, um, um, let's get into the video. So, when you are downloaded, press the link, or have already downloaded the, um, GIMP, then you go to file where it's on the top left of your screen, press on it, and then control plus N, or just press on new. After that, you have this little template thing. Mark your width as 1280, height 720, with also having pixels on, nothing else, otherwise it will make no sense. After that, just press OK. Now you come with your background, like with a white screen. This is where you'll put your picture in. If you do do something like outside it, it will be gone, so it won't make it bigger. But after that, you see this little two colors. It most likely will be like this, but if it's not like this, you have to change it right now. All you have to do is press on it and just change the colors. So have your background colors white and your foreground color black. So after you've added your little template and where you've made it, you're thinking, oh, where do I add my little pictures and stuff? Like, do I do save, open, export, whatever? but it's actually nothing there, nothing at all here. You just have to open your folders and go to your little picture, minimize the folder so it's like this, then drag your photo in. As you can see, it's loading a bit and then it comes in. So you're thinking, wow, my picture is too small, I want to fit it into the image, or like, it's too big. Well, there's this little tool underneath the moving button, and it's called Scale Tool. You want to press on that, press on the picture, and just drag it inwards or outwards to make it smaller or bigger. Then press back onto Move Tool to save it. And my picture is a little bit big, so I'll just quickly move it small. So right now, this is the size of my picture. And now I want to make it bigger, so I press back on it, go into the little squares, and just fit it in the image. Like so. Then go back to Move. Now I've got my little picture here, and it's ready to do. So now after adding this picture in, and you pretty much don't need the background, so ta to take out something, you right click on it, and then you press delete layer. It's in this little second column, so just press delete layer. And it's gone from your little side note. This is pretty much the space where you put all your pictures and everything in with also having all these blurs and other stuff that you want to add in like a random cucumber <laughs> no reason why why that is <laughs> I have no clue why, why that actually is there but okay <laughs> You see this little rope thing that's right here. It's called, I, d I forgot what it's called, but it's a really good thing and very important for like making it. It's called free select tool, <laughs> okay? You press on that and you want to go on the first model. The third model is useful, but we're not going to be using this in the tutorial. But if you do need to know what this is for, just comment down below and I'll tell you why, what it is for and what the other ones are for. So now you have this mode on. You want to zoom in to like the beginning of your picture to like just go around it. Yeah, pretty much all you have to do is just go around in between it and like make a full circle around it. So don't stop here. You've got to go fully back to the start. So I start and just click here and just stay inside the body. If you do make a mistake like out of range, just press backspace to go back to the next one. But if you also 
don't want to do that and for some reason your laptop can't press backspace you can just hold on this and put it inwards like it's really simple but for the purpose of this video I'm going to be quickly editing it and like moving a little bit forwards so you don't need to see me the whole time just clicking around and doing the stuff so it's like a little montage so I'll just see you in a little bit the whole area of your face as you can see I've done around my whole body and hand and everything you really need to do and like you have to put it right inside you don't want any outside of the background otherwise it will be in there so when you're here you just pretty much just you know like you gotta just don't touch the thing otherwise that will be cut out too as you can see you just have to be around the whole area like this okay so I've got my whole face everything's in you press enter then you go to edit wait no you go to select and then invert when you've pressed that you go to back to edit then clear as you can see the background has gone and the body is just there it's just chilling like grilling like it's chilling yeah now um, go to select and then none so I've selected none and this is what is left. So I've got my body. It's just me and the background now, as you can see. So now what you want to do, um, you go to back to move and just put it in the little corner. But you also guys, have you, you've also been asking me how I get that little white around. It's actually really simple how you do this. Okay, so what you've got to do you go to alpha to selection then well alpha you right click then there's like this alpha to selection right here when you've done that you go to select grow and like I would refer like prefer like 8 pixels and then press OK so now it's pretty much selected around my person like a little bit just a little bit but not too much and this is where the the white bit will come. So when you've done that, on the bottom of your screen, there'll be all these little things. You want to do the first one, that's called new layer. You press onto that, and don't really need to check this, just if you want to call it something, I'll call it layer. Then you just pretty much press OK. Now there's this new layer on top of the pick one. So what you want to do, you want to put it underneath it. So like it's underneath the selection, so it's not on top, otherwise it would all be white so when you've done that and put it underneath like it's very critical you've got to put it underneath you go to edit and then fill with background color so now the person is it's like a layer of white but like eight pixels bigger than the photo so 
yeah, that's how you do the white around. So now you press select and none. So now I've got my person with white around. So now, so now that I've done the little bit around my face and I want like to show a text or something, you know, you want to show, you know, your title or something. What you got to do, there's like this huge A near this big wave or like, you know, near, near these stuff. You press onto the A and you like drag this. And you can type in stuff like names and stuff. So what I want to do, how I make my thumb nails. And let's make that a caps because it's a title. And you want to know like how you make it bigger and you're like, okay, let's make it bigger 60. But it doesn't grow. You know, th that's where you make a problem. You have to highlight the whole thing and then you do like it. 70. Now it grows, you know what I mean? And then you can like move it smaller, you know, cramp it in, you know, do stuff with it. Oh, that sounded really weird, but not really. But then you go to the move tool and then you can just quickly, you know, move it on top of it. You know what I mean? Um, so then you go back here and how I make my thumbnails, like put it a little bit down like that. Oh my gosh, it's raining outside right now. I'm so sorry about the noise if it's interrupting. Um, but how I make my thumbnails, I have that and I want to change the color. So you got to highlight it quickly. Go here, go white or like something. You want to do a different color like that. Or you want to change the font. You want to go to here, then you pretty much you've got to highlight it still. And you go here. You want to how I make my thumbnails. You know, you want to change the the font to the thing. Wait, yeah, like that. There's like loads of fonts that you really want. Like this one. Actually, I really like this one. I'm going to use this. <laughs> this is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> that's going to be definitely the thumbnail pic. Now, that's beautiful. That luscious, kids, luscious. And I want it a little bit smaller, so um let me just highlight it. Go to like 60 put it down Oops, put it down like here. A little bit long, long, ding, long, honey, long. And you just bring it down a bit. So now I'm like holding how I make my thumbnails. So now with now, sorry. Now with the ending, with my little pictures I have in the side and the glowing effect around them, it's really simple. So go back to your folders, just minimize that a little bit. Let's take the play, playing TNT run till I get a win. One, and as you can see, it's like perfect size. So let's minimize that for a bit. So I put it like right, like a little bit smaller. No, not too big. But you want to like a little bit tilt it, you know, like you see this one right here, like near the move. You just pretty much move it around like it's crazy. It's like, what? you can like tilt the thing a little bit as you can see in some of my things I do have some stuff tilted so now I've tilted a photo like look at that that's like a godly right comment down below if that's godly I think it's godly but now you like if you want it perfectly in you just got it perfectly in so now you want the white thing around you know you go to alpha to selection select and grow eight pixels it will be saved so you don't need to change it all the time so now it's you know selected you want to go to new layer okay put it underneath it then press edit fill with background color so now it's background color around it now you want a glowing effect around it you want you want you know show something like you can edit something but let's just quickly you know put this a little bit here you know a little bit of weed. Okay, let's just get it around it perfectly, like that. Then I'm gonna do select none. So now it's look. It looks good. It looks nice. You you think? Wow, I can make a thumbnail really nicely. No, you can do so much better. Okay, you can do so 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 much better. So go back to sol. Go back to alpha to selection. Sorry. Alpha to selection, select, 
grow 8 so it's grown to the white but now you need to grow it again because you want another thing around it you want a glow effect around it so then you go to new layer just do the same thing you do normally but put it under layer like put it under this one because you don't want it over it so we've got layer number two underneath layer number one then um, you got to do the same thing you just go edit and you can change your fill for background color if you want to any color you want the glowing effect on so let's say you want it on green or you know you want it on blue because I use blue a lot let's change it the background color to blue so then I fill with background color so now it's like you know a double double O looks it looks okay it looks fine but no you want it blurred you want it like you want it shiny you go to filters you have to select layer number two to make it working filters then go blur and then go Gaussian blur now with the size X and Y you just pretty much just drag it forwards and as you can see it's like blurring out blurring out you see that you see that beautiful stuff you can like blur it really a lot but you know you don't want that you want it not too much so let's like bring the blur like 11.11 .11, like it's beautiful looks nice right blur or oh, 14.37 so you press ok and now you've got this blur on this one now you want another picture of it you just pretty much do the same thing you go this druced one as you can see I have this little blur around it on the mine so we can make this like this size tilt it a little bit like maybe this way you know, this way looks really nice, right? Get a little bit, you know, in a little bit of a space. Let's move this one too a little bit. Because it's a little bit in the way. So how I make my thumbnails, let's change you a size a bit. You know, do the blur thing again. So um, you go back to your plain, your thing. You go to Gaussian, I mean <laughs> alpha to selection. Select, grow 8 pixels. Then go to new layer, put it underneath. You have to always put it underneath, okay? Otherwise it will never work. you've got all of this right here this is your thumbnail that you really really like and um subscribe if this really helped you guys and comment down below if this did help you and let's make it to 40 subs tomorrow or something because we i need to make it to 40 subs it's just been going 38 39 38 39 so whoever's doing that stop and let's just make it to 40 subscribers so if this did help, comment and subscribe and like my videos. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, peep squad. Tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love.